Welcome to Dark Knot Films Reviews and another comedy and drama night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Police Academy 3, Back in Training, released in 1986. Directed by Jerry Paris, from a script by Gene Quantano. Starring Steve Guttenberg, Bubba Smith, David Graff, Michael Winslow, Leslie Easterbrook, Marion Ramsey, Bruce Muller, George Gaines, Art Matrano, Lance Kinsey, Deborah Lee Scott, Tim Kazarinski, and Bobcat Goldthwait. Now, this is kind of an odd entry in this series just because um, the recruits with Gutenberg and the others from the original film were just put in the last film out on patrol and everything to, you know, become actual patrol officers and everything. And now in this one, all of a sudden they're considered the elite to where they're going to be going back to the training facilities and uh, training new recruits and everything. And it's just an odd area to take um, the, the story. And considering the fact that you have so many characters anyway that are carrying over from the original film. I mean, there's only a few that aren't in this still, you know. And now they've brought back... Leslie Easterbrook um, as Debbie Callahan, so, you know, you got another one back. So now they're introducing all these new recruits coming in, and some of them relatives to uh, others like uh, Bruce Muller's character of Fackler having a family and having characters in this, which is just... I cannot really stand that character just because of all the sight gags they have all over the place because of him. So now his wife is joining the academy and she's going to be the new version of a uh, Fackler in here doing all this stuff that he would have been doing. He he was a distraction in the original film. He was a distraction in the second film and he's an even bigger distraction in this one. Um, but what makes matters even worse is they bring back Art Matrano as Mauser. Now, you do get Lance Kinsey returning as Proctor, which I like Proctor, as I said in my previous review, but I just do not like Mauser. I didn't like him in the second film, and I don't like him still. Um, and it doesn't help matters that they have... Um, him and Lassard, played again here by George Gaines, um, competing against each other as different commandants in here. It's just, although it does give George Gaines a little bit more to do in this film, he's there more often and everything. He's kind of got probably about the same amount of screen time in this one as he had in the original film, as opposed to just being in sporadic scenes in the second. Um, but one thing that they do in this one that is completely weird is making Tim Kazarinski's and Bobcat Goldthwait's characters new recruits. Um, Tim Kazarinski was just a basic, normal guy trying to run his business and being harassed by Bobcat Goldthwait's character. Why are you making him a cop in this? Why are you bringing him back for that? I mean, I didn't think that was the area you needed to take that character. And making Bobcat Goldthwait's character a cop, how believable is that? He is this criminal that is making life terrible for your citizens in the previous film, and now you're gonna you're gonna let him come into the police academy and become a cop. No. But um I think at this point uh Steve Gutenberg 
uh, seemed to be really losing his uh, interest in this series. He's not putting in as much as he was previously as Kerry Mahoney. Now Bubba Smith, David Graff, Michael Winslow, and Marion Ramsey, they all are, you know, back up to speed and are really doing great as their characters. But I just didn't think they needed to go in this route with these characters going back to the academy and everything to train new recruits because they're hardly these great officers now that they should be going back and training new recruits themselves. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it, this was a fun entry, but I don't think it's near as good as the first two. Um, I think it was starting to lose its edge at this point. And, you know, this is the reasoning why, you know, Steve Gutenberg wasn't going to last much longer in this series after this one. Um, and it's because of the decline of uh, story ideas, I believe, for this series. So my final review of Police Academy 3, back in training. Um, I'm going to give this one a... 7.3 out of 10. It, it could have been better if they would have just left them out on patrol and uh, left these other characters not becoming recruits now uh, because I don't think that works in the storyline. So, but what do you guys think of this film? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. As a Dark Knight Fan Plus member, you have access to an area on the channel right now where you can request a movie, TV series, or ranking video of your choosing. And when that video goes up live, it will go up for all plus members to view. And then I will be putting up another where you can request more films. So this isn't just a one-time thing. So, um, and then of course, after a while, when I get room on the schedule to put these films on there for everyone to be able to view, they will go up and, uh, you know, so... You guys out there, you know, putting in these requests for something that you want to see me do really will uh, help us get more content on here for everybody. So if you want to help with that, now's your chance. Well, that's the end of another Comedy and Drama Night. If you missed last week's Comedy and Drama Night, check out the link above. Or... If you've missed any of the videos during Comedy and Drama Night, check out this playlist and get caught up on anything you've missed.